Yeah, guys, um, yeah, we are at Teola Rocks. It was the first bit that I put out, uh, mackerel and red eye. I waited for probably 45 minutes or so, and uh, as this color is starting to push in, the first one to get a pull there. Eh? Um, unfortunately, the fish uh, swam forward very quickly and then went left. And my line went around one of the rocks that are sticking out in the front there. So uh, nothing much you can do when that happens. I just backed off the drag and hoped that the fish swims back out. But um, that didn't happen. So yeah, the end result is me getting cut off on the reef. But uh, we're going to put another bait now and I'm sure we're going to get a quick pull. Uh, I made sure now I've just threw a bait while I was on with that fish and he had a pull. So uh, with this color coming in, definitely we're going to get some big fish now. So. Stay tuned, keep watching. Good. Right guys, now that's a, a really good, decent sized bonefish, that's about 5 kilos, 4, maybe 5, but uh, lovely fish here on the north coast when you target them, normally a chocker, um, langoustine bait and the fresh red eyes we've got, that's what he fell for, um, really good fight as well, initially you can see the guys getting, uh, getting pulled properly. But we're going to carry on the brown waters here now. I've still got a bonita out on a slide. And uh, so far it's been, uh, we've been struggling to get some, some good fish. Um, Jay's got that very nice raggy this morning, which I think is close to 95 kilos or something he said, which has uh, put our club in the lead so far. I don't know how the other guys are doing. But uh, yeah, I think our best bet is staying right here. It's pushing to a high. This is normally a low water spot for the sea is flat. We've got the brown water, it's nice and cool. There should be a lot of fish this afternoon, so we're hoping for that. It's midday now, it's pretty much 12 o'clock. Uh, not the best day, uh, time of the day for fishing. But when the water is brown like that, it doesn't really matter. So we'll have a look, see. Okay guys, the guy started getting some uh, some bone fish. So I had a bonita out. I'm just gonna switch to a chocker. I just put a chocker base there and I wanna put red eye. Still hoping for a sandy or something in the area. So I use surflon with an 8-0. I think that's a 7-0. Ring soy. And then uh, put the red eye belly on there. And then put the brown water, we at Siola, brown water moved in, we're busy fishing a league. Last night we were at Chigela, North Bank, looking for raggies. One got landed of 40 kilos, and three missed and lost. This morning, Jace and them went there, all of them, pretty much my whole club. So I thought I'll, uh, I'll do the other side in case they don't come right, but they managed to get one there of 90 kilos, or just over 90. And uh, last time I spoke to them this morning, nothing else. So yeah, the brown waters moved in, we were hoping for some sandies. I saw Linton, the fish Linton, hooked, looked like a sandy, it was on mackerel. But now there's been lovely bonefish around. We've seen two already. So I want to put this bait out. I don't want to make it too big so I can strike it. It's 
should be big enough. And now I've used 49 strength in case there's some spinners in the area and always some juicy critters here. Fin Kingy. Quickly measure him. Get him back. Fresh red iron chocker. Let's get him measured. Beautiful fish. And he is 46. There we go, look at that. Beautiful fish this. Look at that beautiful fish. Okay guys, that's just a uh, use a chocker body for that. Now at least I'm on the board. Fishing's been a bit hard because last night the, the grey sharks were gale force. We went there this morning and nothing. So we're hoping for bigger fish. Been fishing for bigger fish all along. Well, the this thing made a knot. Um, uh, but no success on the big fish yet. So very nice thread from Kingy there. That's their time of the year. You get them here on the north coast. Together with a bonefish, they all move together. I was hoping to get one of those nice bonies, but uh, we're not going to stop trying. Right, then I just cut a nice fresh little red eye. Oh, baby, I want those cuts. so hot here today all my baits defrosted well it was in the bait box since last night only so far slept for two hours since yesterday morning and it so obviously happens that yesterday morning I was up at three already some sandies and diamonds it went a bit quiet so I threw a smaller bit I threw a little base foot bit and uh, yeah there's the end result a uh, lovely little brown skate you saw I waited for the fish to walk around the rocks and then as soon as I got it lined up for the landing gully uh, I pulled it straight in so yeah we're gonna put another bait now um, Srinav is busy tussling with what we think is a sandy there 
busy on the point at the moment, so the fish seem to be coming, although we got a bit of a southeasterly wind blowing at the moment. Doesn't hasn't affected the bite, so let's see if we can get some more fish. Shot. As you can see, um, I kept this fish on the wet sand. Uh, it's a very hot day today and you don't want to put, pull these fish up onto the dry sand. You can damage them and you can hurt them. So I kept him here on the wet sand. I'm going to put my hand in his mouth, support him nicely. Don't lift him too high and I'm going to get him back in the water. Show it, guys.
like I said earlier, three hours sleep since yesterday morning, two hours sleep since yesterday morning, three o'clock. And uh, that's competitive fishing. We love it. So still need points, need major points. Don't get a bonus fish. So I must go my try and make up with the greys. Maybe there's a sandy in between. Who knows? There might be some blue rays as well, nice point. So we'll give it a good shot.